lot of you have seen videos of me using spray paint and Dawn dish soap, but you have never seen anyone do it like this before. I mean, literally, I've never done it like this before. And to be honest, I'm not 100% sure it'll work. But if it does, oh boy, it's gonna be awesome. So uh, let's get started. For this, I'm gonna do two different projects, I guess you could say. One of them's gonna be on this cool white skateboard that literally is too small for anybody to ride. It's cool to hang up on the wall, okay? Cut off. And since I went through all the trouble to painstakingly paint this bad boy red with this joker. Dude, who would do this? This is ridiculous. It's just coming out, it's just still pouring. Figured, listen, let's don't, let's don't let everything about it be in vain. Let's use it and do some red, white, and blue. America! And for the last layer, of the dish soap, I'm gonna do some airbrush. I don't even know if it'll work, but uh, should be interesting. Oh, and I got two different kinds of Dawn dish soap. The traditional drizzle dizzle and the power wash. Ooh, fresh clean scent. Well, let's see. Mmm. Mmm, that smells delicious. Oh, okay, confession. I was literally trying to prank you, but apparently I grabbed the wrong one. Oh, there you are. That's the, that's the one I was supposed to use for the prank. But I guess I end up pranking myself. <laughs> I'm gonna go brush my teeth and we'll get started. All right, my idea is to have the red fade off the edges. America! So that means you want more red, you put more power wash. You want less red, you put less. I want less right here because uh, I got other colors I wanna do. I don't know if that makes sense, just watch. Power wash, power wash, power wash. So I'm gonna do heavier on the edge. It's like a fade, or some people say ombre. <laughs> that word makes no sense to me at all. Ombre is like a Spanish for dude, isn't it? So now I'm gonna do the blue. Just literally cover the whole thing. Oh, it's dripping, you, you loser. Take it at an angle then. Loser drip. Now we're gonna just let that sit for a minute and flash over with this loser dripping everywhere. What the heck? Hopefully it doesn't screw it up, but I think it'll be fine. Listen, hey, art is not perfection. It's just expression, okay? So this expressed a little drippage. So let's, all right, I've only let that sit for about, I don't know, 60 seconds because I'm impatient. As you can see already, some of the dish soap has contracted. So I want to leave as much red as possible. So I'm just going to go ahead and do step number two, which is drizzle dizzle. And then whatever this is, white. Yeah, white. There you go. And I have no preconceived conception or idea about what kind of pattern I want. So you do whatever. Oh, let's do some loops. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna leave a lot of the blue. Let it breathe. <gasps> Take a breath. <gasps> go, go, go. It's got a gulp sometimes. The more soap you put, the more of this color is gonna be. And now, just hit it with white. Should look beautiful. There we go. Now we'll let that sit and I'll go grab my airbrush. Now for this, I'm using my pocket airbrush and the shipment is almost in of those of you who pre-ordered, so thank you for waiting patiently. And then orders will be open once again. Now I will say for this, this is automotive paint because you can't use water-based paint. It would mix with this. And all I'm looking to do is go over my lines. Now you can be as particular as you want. You can get as close as you want. But I think this will really make it zing up a little bit. Give it like a 3D pop look. I don't know, I could be wrong. Could just look like garbage. But I'm ax, oh, that. don't get too close, it'll move it. That might be cool though, I don't know. Hey, what if we do, on purpose? I don't know. This is all experimental, listen. If you're looking to, to be like, you didn't show me how to do this, that, that, listen, it's all experimental. I'm showing you how to be free Free yourself up to think and experiment and try things. Don't be old chicken. This might not look cool at all. I don't know. I don't know if it'll show up dark on the edges or not. Let's try it. I mean, we can keep going all day till this is done. I'm gonna let this sit for a while before I move it because I might just let it dry. Heck, I don't know. I have no idea what this is gonna do. Kinda excited to find out though. I don't know about you. All right, I think that's good. I'm happy with that. While we're letting that dry, let's just move on to project number two. All right, I moved down to the side. 
Uh, no, I'm just kidding. I almost got you. Oh, no, I'm not doing that again. I moved the project to the side and I'm going to completely let it dry, which I've never fully let it dry before or washing it off before. So I don't know what's going to happen with that. That's going to be cool to find out or maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. But for the next project, while we're letting that do its thing, we're gonna do this beautiful little skateboard. I can't decide if I wanna do a three or four color fade oh, ombre. There's three steps and I'm doing the fade three different times, but I'm going back and flipping them. Listen, it's, it's confusing to me to even to say it. So I just, I got it here, I'm gonna put it here and then you're gonna see it there, okay? All right, I'm gonna use the container I put the crayons. This one is uh, Crayola. If you haven't seen my crayon videos, what are, you, what are you doing with your life? You're missing out. Don't you ever tell me how to live my life again? I'm gonna go with these four colors, not necessarily in this order, but I'm gonna lay the base down. I thought I wanted to do white. I changed my mind. Hey, we don't mess up, we just change our minds. In this case, I did actually change my mind. Look at that beautiful fade. Whoa, this one comes out like a rocket. Why well, is watching spray paint so satisfying? All right. Oh, the blue drips, I forgot about that, loser. Might as well do the sides. Can't really tell if I'm getting the sides good or not. There we go, fade that off a little nicer. There we go, baby. Nice, now we'll let that dry and we will be right back. All right, now that that's dry, and I must say, that <laughs> you can just leave it like that. That is a beautiful fade. Those colors, oh my gosh. We could be done, video's over, let's go. I'm just kidding. Listen, for my own ADHD purposes, I went ahead and put the caps at the opposite of where they need to spray. Just just so I'll know, this color goes here after I drizzle dizzle, so I won't screw it up. Still high possibility I'll screw it up, but it doesn't matter. And for this one, I'm doing power wash last on this one instead of first on the other. And I'm really, the, it's right here, it's drying. I so wanna wash it off already, but not yet, not yet. Patience, grass hop by. So let's, let's dizzle dizzle. Okay, we have pop our soap. Just, I think I'm gonna just go for a tigery stripe look, all in one direction. Just to see, I'm gonna do some crisscross too, just to make it interesting, you know, of course. Let it breathe, <gasps> and then go. If you don't squeeze, it goes way skinnier, which is kinda, <gasps> don't breathe, there we go. It's kinda cool too, and that should do it. Now, we're gonna take the opposite spray colors and do the reverse fade. I think if all works out well. Remember this stupid blue drips, dumb thing. I think I didn't get enough this color with the fade. Now's this one. Go over again one more time. Why not? Good measure. And now we let that dry for a minute. We, uh, let's check on the other one and see if it looks any different. All right, oh, don't pay attention to that, right there. It just looks like it's spread out a little bit. <laughs> it looks kind of cool. Look at the border of that black did. What? Okay, so excited to rinse that off, oh my gosh. I can't wait. That's been long enough. Let's do the power wash on the other one. Oh, let me reverse these again so I don't screw up. There we go. We're gonna reverse the colors once again. Yes, perfect. Now, I will say this probably looks really cool as it is right now but I feel like doing this extra little step of densely power wash, I think that's gonna look killer. So this, are you sure? No, okay, good. There's that. I might be completely screwing this up, but I don't know. There's only one way to find out, you know what I'm saying? I think that's it. I'm not gonna do crazy bunch of layers. Maybe I am, I don't know. But what I am gonna do is let this dry. I don't know how long. Depends on how patient I am or how distracted I get, okay? I'll let you know. We'll rinse them off, let's go. Okay, confession. Uh, so time got away from me a little bit. Uh, oh wait, you can't even see me. Holy crap. 
Now you can see me. It's like the sun. Oh, too much. There we go. All right, we got our little project over here in the dark. I'm gonna rinse it off. I'll put the light on it so you can see. You won't, you won't be looking at nothing, obviously. But uh, it's really dry and I'm really uncertain about how well this stuff is going to uh, rinse off. All right, here goes nothing. Let's zoom in a little bit here. There we go. Hopefully it'll come off, I don't know. Oh, it's working. That black is, uh, I guess it was chunked up on the, on the edges of the uh, soap. I was really hoping that black would stay. Oh, the red's popping out. Look at that red. Wow, this stuff is really on there. Like, if it's still wet, it comes off so easily. Now, I, I, I don't know if it's coming off. There, see, it's, it's still coming off little by little. This is gonna take forever. Oh yeah, uh, I've had to break out the water boots. Soggy flops and socks, that's, that's not cool, you know? You can't have that, so. Could affect the whole process of creativity not having the socks and flops on. We'll see. Oh, now here's the one I'm super excited about. Oh, look at that. Oh, it gets so clean. Look at that. Whoa, don't take off there, buddy. Again, really dang hard to get all the soap off. I, it's so hard to tell if you got it all or not because it's all dry. Am I rubbing paint? Am I rubbing dish soap who knows hey you thirsty buddy i know i should have rinsed it off before it dried what the heck just save yourself the trouble wash it off when it's wet mm -mm. oh hey good morning sleepyhead well i had to let these dry so i'm uh, i went to bed and no i did not sleep in my clothes yes i did okay so i did listen it saves time when you get up and you're ready to go you're already dressed it's like a life hack. You should really try it. But let's start with this one. The red, white, and blue. America turned out sick. Look how clean that is. Whoa. But here you can see where I really had to scrub a dub to get the dry stuff off. And then the airbrush looks like a legit drop shot. It makes the blue look 3D. What? Never done that before. I was kind of excited about that or excited, whichever way you're supposed to say it. But this one, oh my gosh. This one right here is so sick. Look at that. It's like a 90s neon, or is that 80s? Could be a little bit of both, I don't know. But look at that. And I almost literally, I did power wash on this one and I almost did not do it on this one, but I'm so glad I did. Look at those little hidden details of speckly goodness underneath. A lot of you may not have ever seen that you can use power wash and spray paint together at the same time. Same with the Dawn Deer Drizzle Dizzle. If you love videos like this where I experiment with spray painting and all kinds of other hacks, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button because I literally never tell people to do that anymore. And if you want to keep this party rolling, YouTube says that this video right here that I'm putting on my play button is going to be your best, most favorite video that you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> they wouldn't lie to you. Till next time, thanks for watching. God bless. We'll see you on the next one. Not bad.